Prophet is that large geographical territory of which Afghanistan is the heart includes the northwest of Pakistan and the northeast of Iran and territory north of Afghanistan. But what is uh, quite symbolically important about the heart of that territory is that Britain tried to colonize it and Britain failed when Britain was the ruling state in the world. And then the Soviet Union tried to colonize it when the Soviet Union was a superpower and the Soviet Union failed. And guess who is trying to colonize it now? When you see that army coming from Khorasan, go and join that army. Even if you have to crawl over ice. And so, Singapore, I have a gentle word of guidance to share with you. And I'm entitled to do that because I'm in the status of a teacher teaching Islam around the world, not just Singapore. This is my word of guidance. When you look for those who are your guides, your teachers, the men whose opinion you cherish, to guide you on the right path, to teach you your religion. Ask yourself, is this the kind of man who would crawl over ice to go and join that army which will come from Khorasan? If he is not, then go look and search for such a man. Go and join that army, said the Prophet of Islam to Islam. Because no one will be able to stop that army until it reaches Jerusalem. Those are his words. And so the destiny of Jerusalem, as it emerges from the lips of Muhammad Islam, whether our enemies accept it or don't, whether they are comfortable with it or they are not, is irrelevant. Our leader has said, and we believe that he has spoken the truth, that it is the destiny of Jerusalem, that an Islamic army, an armed Islamic resistance, will liberate the Holy Land. There is no peace talks which will resolve the problem when Muhammad has spoken. That jihad is already in progress. You don't need anyone to declare jihad. The, the jihad is already in progress. And what is more, no one, no one, no one can stop it. If you do not have in your heart the longing and desire to participate in that jihad in whatever way you can, then there's a big question mark concerning your faith. When that army comes from Jerusalem, from, from Khorasan, then the Prophet spoke, and this is the last hadith I'm going to be quoting, or maybe the second to last. He said, now, this hadith is in Sahih Bukhari. It is also in Sahih Muslim. It is therefore muttafaqun alayhi. It is the strongest, most authentic possible statement of Muhammad These are his words. Do not say that they are mine. They are his words. He said, You will most surely fight the Jews. That's already happened. And you will most certainly kill them, meaning you will be victorious. <coughs> At that time, the stones will speak. Ya Muslim, O Muslim, There's a Jew hiding behind me. فَتَعَالَى فَقْتُوا 
So come and kill him. This will result in the liberation of the Holy Land and the destruction of the state of Israel. And then the Islamic state of Israel, the one of Dawood and Islam and Suleiman and Islam, that will now replace it in the Holy Land. And so Islam will become the ruling state in the world. And the true Messiah will now rule the world from Jerusalem with a rule which will be eternal, meaning there is nothing to replace it. This is the end of history. The Imam al-Mahdi will live for only seven years and then he'll die, said the Prophet Muhammad I don't have this information, I'm giving you what the Prophet said. But Isa alayhi salam will live for 40 years. The Prophet said that, the, that Jesus alayhi salam will get married. The Pope doesn't know that. <laughs> I, I hope he'll marry a Palestinian girl. <laughs> yes. And he will have children. Yes. And then he will die. Yes. So don't worship him because he's going to die. Worship the God who never dies. And then said the Prophet Muhammad he's going to be buried next to me. Next to me in Medina. This would be the end of the story of Jerusalem in the Quran. What follows after this is the last part of the last stage of history. We don't know how long it will last. Nobody knows, only Allah knows. But at the end of that, Allah is going to bring the world to an end. But at this time, make up your mind for this hadith now. Prepare yourself for it. There will be such a collapse of morals, sexual morals in the world, and you can see it coming now. The people will be committing sexual intercourse in public like donkeys. And the best man of that age will be one who would pass by and see two people making, having sex in public and he would say to the man, can't you at least take her behind the wall? That is the tomorrow that is coming. And then Allah will bring the world to an end. And then will come the day of judgment when we stand before Allah. And then all that is spoken in the Quran, and we, we have quoted in this book, all of these things will now be seen with the eyes which can no longer, can no longer be denied. This has been Jerusalem and the Quran and I've taken exactly two hours. Before I end, let me commend that you read this book because the entire lecture is in here. I could not give you the whole lecture. And one final word, my teacher who trained me, Maulana Fadl Rahman Ansari, was also trained by Maulana Abdul Alim Siddiqui, Rahimahullah. Maulana Abdul Alim Siddiqui visited Singapore something like 26 times in the 1920s and 1930s. And I knew, I heard the story of how this masjid was established. And Murana Fadl Rahman Ansari, who was my teacher, he lived in Singapore in 1935 for one year. He wrote this book, which is now available outside, The Quranic Foundations and Structure of Muslim Society. If we are to establish Islam today, then this, I suggest to you, is the manual, the handbook, the guide that we should follow in order that the Qur'an may be the means through which we can establish Islam today. I hope and pray that you would support Masjid Abdul Alim Siddiqui in the effort to try to raise the funds needed to reconstruct the Masjid. I will also put my hand in my pocket 
to give whatever I can, and I hope that you will also do the same. Rabbana taqabbal minna inna ka anta s-sameer alim wa tab'alayna ya mulana inna ka anta tawab rahim. Ya rahmatika 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 ya rahm